In this video, let us see second lesson of sixth class playing with magnets. Let us play with magnets to understand properties of magnets. Let us perform first activity to differentiate materials into magnetic materials and non-magnetic materials. Activity, certain materials are required. First one is pin holder and we are taking some materials, a screw, a slate pencil, a water dropper, a color pencil, a sketch pen, a sharpener, safety pins and these are some of the pins which are necessary to perform this activity. So if I take a pin holder and if I put all these materials into this pin holder like I have I kept a sketch pen, a water dropper, a screw and let me drop all of them. So you can see that a water dropper fell and a sketch pen fell on the ground. If I try with other materials like a color pencil and like a slate pencil again if I invert it you can see you can see color pencil and slate pencil they fell on the ground but the screw is still held in the pin holder and if I try with even a sharpener if I put try to put it in the pin holder a sharpener even a sharpener will get stick because there is a blade here if I try with some other side of it like if I keep over it then it will fall on the ground but if I try with safety pins they get stick to the pin holder if I try with all these pins get struck to the pin holder they get attracted to the pin holder including a screw now there are some materials like a water dropper like a sketch pen, pencil, slate pencil and even a plastic part of a sharpener it does not get attracted to a pin holder whereas these pins, safety pin, a screw all these are the materials that get attracted to what a pin holder so we can conclude here from this activity that there are some materials that are attracted to a magnet and there are some materials which does not get attracted to a magnet. Now you may get a doubt or a question that what is there in this pin holder which makes all this iron material to get attracted to it. So there is a magnet inside this pin holder which can hold all these pins which can attract all these pins towards itself. So we can classify materials into two categories one magnetic material that can get attracted to a magnet second one non-magnetic material which cannot get attracted to magnet example for non-magnetic material a pencil a slate pencil a plastic wood paper all these are the materials that can never get attracted to a magnet and the materials which are made up of iron they get attracted to a magnet are classified materials into two categories first one magnetic material magnetic material and second one non-magnetic material non-magnetic material so how can we define what is a magnetic material we can define magnetic material as the materials the materials which which can attract to a magnet to a magnet can be called as what magnetic materials example iron nickel cobalt etc so this is magnetic material non-magnetic material which do not attract to a magnet which do not get attracted to a magnet attracted to a magnet to a magnet what are the examples for this examples are plastic wood paper stone etc 